Hey, this is Chris the Truck coming at you from uh, Lodi, California. I am at the Flying J in Lodi, California. Here's the haps, man. Uh, yeah. Lost my co-driver. Came off of home time. Just got on the bus to come back to the terminal. And my co-driver calls me. Hey, can't make it back. Why? Because my house got broken into. I'm leaving the company. Oh, okay. Well, I told him to go ahead and give the uh, drive manager a call. Which he did. And, uh, wait and see, you know, what he says, right? So he calls me back. He says, uh, I might be back in about two or three weeks. But you can't wait. So, get another co-driver. Okay, no problem. He picked me up at the bus station. He brought me to the truck. He took off his stuff. I stayed there, of course. I got another co-driver that same day. Well, I lost that co-driver. Why? Well, he didn't like the five-hour unload time that we had to do. He didn't like the fact that he couldn't drive because he had to test out at Fontana. He didn't like the fact that I had to wait ten hours to get my drive time in. Or to get my, uh, uh, 11 and 14 hours back. So he didn't like that. So, what happened was he jumped ship. I'm still here on the truck. No go driver. Ah, well, wait a minute. Here's what happened. I called and explained it all to my co driver, or to my uh, fleet manager. He says, okay, no problem. I told him, I said, I'm about ready to have a nervous breakdown here, man. He says, don't worry about it. You're doing a good job. I need you on my team. Don't quit. You know, sugarcoating everything, right? That's fine. I know I'm doing a good job, so that's fine. Anyway, finally get another co-driver. But he's up in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. He's making his way down to Fontana, California. He's got a little going to Arizona, then from Arizona to Fontana, California. Okay. I'm in Stockton. Well, low die. Slash Stockton. They're going to give me a load somewhere in low die or Stockton or Arbuckle or wherever to pick up. Maybe Sacramento. To pick up. Hopefully, to just pick up and go straight to Fontana. I don't need this running around bullshit. Do local freaking runs. Screw the freaking runs. Either give me a load to go straight to Fontana, or I'll just wait until you get the guy to me. I mean, that's all there is to it. I mean, come on. I know freight is low. I know it's hard to go to get freight to Northern California. But you know what? You can do a little bit better than that, but he is. Don't worry about it. That's cool. It's trucking. I understand. To a point. Okay? So anyway, guys, that's what's going on with me. You know, money's okay. You know, when I was on training uh, with the owner-operator, I was making about oh, between four to 600 a week. Pretty good cash. When I have a code driver, I'm making between four to five hundred. Uh, three to we'll put it three to five hundred a week. That's what I'm making. A little lower, but it works. So anyway, guys, that's what's going on. Still with the company. I plan on staying with the company unless I get more BS thrown at my ass, and then I'm going to say, you know what? Kiss my white ass. I'm gone. But you know what? I got to stick it in there so I can go on with another company that's got a little bit more together. You know, I want to go on with Gordon because with Gordon, we run up and down the I-5 corridor pretty much. You, um, uh, when you got, when you got, to do a 34-hour restart to get you close to home so you can go home for your 34-hour restart, jump back on the truck, 
Booyah, you're gone. You know? Sweetness. So anyway, that's what I'm trying to do, brothers. Brothers and sisters. So hey, if you got any questions or whatever, you know, hey, email me. Give me give me a shout out. You know, give me some give me some feedback, people. I'm trying to make my channel bigger. I'm trying to do, you know, what I can do. Uh, right now, I just don't have the money to buy cameras that do what I want to do, show you things I want to show you. So, you know, uh, all I can do is tell you how to do things. But, you know, what's that going to do? Anyway, guys, um, you know, hey, you got any questions to ask me? You know, but I will give you a quick tip. When you go home for home time, make sure you get everything taken care of. As soon as you walk in the house, get your laundry done. Get, uh, you know, get the important stuff done first. Laundry done, repack, get ready. So that way you ain't got to worry about that. After all that's done, what you usually takes about half a day, then you're good. You go, go out and enjoy the rest of your home time, then get back. Only take about four days if you can. A home time. Five of the most. Anything after five days, the company's going to start getting all antsy saying, hey, we got to pull you off the truck. When you come back, we'll give you another truck. You know. I'm in a brand new 2013 Volvo, man. Yeah, a lot of people don't like it because it's a heavy truck. Not as heavy as the International. International is big, bulky, and I'm looking at one right now. They're nice looking. You gotta watch your load. You gotta know how to calculate the fuel, calculate your all that shit. Me, I'm not good at math. No. So, anyway, be safe. And uh, shoot me, uh, shoot me emails. You know, shout out, do whatever. Peace.